Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert images and pictures into a table, and also how to insert an image or a picture into your text as well. So as you can see, I've just got a plain and simple document up here containing a simple table with a few additional changes to just the cells and the way they're laid out. So I've got this section here, which I'd like to insert a photograph, but obviously I don't want to see all of these lines. So the first thing I need to do is one of two things. I can either hide those lines by simply turning them transparent. And in order to do that, you highlight the cells, just click and drag, go to table design, and just go along to this border section here. This deals with all the lines within your table. So we just want to get rid of all these internal lines here. If you go up to borders, and you go down to inside borders and just uncheck that box there, it will get rid of those lines. Now, the difference between merging and just getting rid of the lines is that your table remains so that if I press the tab key, you can see that my cells, my down arrow, my cells are actually still here. So if I highlight, you can see when it's highlighted, all of those cells still remain. So. If you wanted to line something up or align something within the cells but you didn't want the border lines, then that's the way to do it. And of course you can insert a picture on top of here as well, but I think for this purpose the best option is to merge the cells. So select all the cells. Let's just go back, Command or Control Z, to just expose those border lines again. And we'll just merge them. So once you've selected them, go out to the Layout tab at the top, and go to Merge Cells. Once that's happened, you've now just got one complete cell in your table. Then go up to Insert and along to Pictures and click on the drop down. Now, here you have the option to select a number of different options, whether it's from your browser, whether it's stock images, online pictures, or pictures from your file. So I'm going to select a picture from my computer. And I'm just going to go down and select this logo here and then click insert. Now, as you can see, panic has set in and everything's gone bonkers. So in order to rectify this, all you need to do is just make sure you continue to select your image. So you've still got all the little boxes around the edge. Go up to wrap text and then select in front of text. Now, this will enable you to move this image around now, and it will also mean that you can resize it. So just go down to the corners and click and drag until the image is the correct size, and then hover your cursor over the edge of your image, and you'll see it changes to a cross, and then you can move your image anywhere around your uh, document. Let's just resize this a little bit more and then we'll pop it into that area that we merged. Perfect. So that's how you put the image into your table. Now, if you wanted to put an image into this section here, again, let's go to insert, picture, picture from file, and then let's insert this headshot and then click insert. This is not me, this is just a headshot I selected from the internet. And once again, the first thing to do is to go up to wrap text, click on the drop down, but this time we're going to select tight. And the reason for that is if we just resize this portrait or headshot, what we want it to do is we want the text to actually wrap around this image. Now you don't have to have this selection, I'll show you in a second alternatives, but if you select tight it means that the text will move around your image like this. If you click away you can see how that will sit in your document. Now if you want the image so there's no text to the left or right, you can go back up to wrap text or right click on your image and then wrap text is also contained within this menu go down to top and bottom and that will mean that when you move your image 
there'll be no text to the left or right. So if you wanted to place your image in the centre and you didn't want text to the left or right, then that's the option to select. OK, so let's say that you wanted to do this with multiple images. So let's just get rid of this image. And I'm just going to use some stock images. So again, go to Insert, go to Pictures, click on the drop down, and then go along to Stock Images. And your software will have a whole host of images that you can use. So I'm just going to select Portraits by typing it into the search bar at the top here. And then I can select many number of these pictures for my document. So let's just click on a couple of random ones. Let's click on this one and this one and this one and then just click insert and it will download those and insert them into your document. Now as you can see they can't be moved. It's quite clunky when you try and move them and they need to be placed correctly. So once again, right click on each image, go down to wrap text, and then again, we can go to top and bottom. Do the same with this one, top and bottom. And again with this one, wrap text, top and bottom. Now don't worry if they disappear, they've just gone behind each other. So we can resize them now, we can place them anywhere in our document. Again, let's resize this one. And again, let's resize this one. Now, if you want to put them next to each other, obviously they'll have to be relatively small. But if you all want them this perfect height, then all you need to do is decide, okay, so this one's the right height for me. If I go to picture format at the top here, it will tell me that the height of that is 3.19. So what I need to do is highlight that number, copy it by pressing Command or Control C, go to this image here, go back up to the height, and then just paste it in for that image. Press Enter, and you can see now this one is the same height as that one. Do exactly the same with this one, highlight it, paste it, Command or Control V, press Enter, and you can see they're now all the same height. Now if you want these perfectly lined up, then that's easy to do. Make sure they're roughly in the place that you want them. And then just select them all by holding down your command or control key. Make sure you're on the picture format tab here. And then go along to this align tool. Click on the drop down. And the first thing we're going to do is distribute them horizontally. So they're equally distributed. So if you click on that one, you can now see that there's an equal space between all the images. Then if you want them lined up to the bottom, so they're perfectly lined up, then go back up to the Align tool. You can use Align to Middle, you can use Align to Top or a Bottom, it doesn't matter. So I'll use Align to Bottom. Now you can see all the images are lined up to the bottom. If you want to move all of these images around as one, which can be very useful, make sure they're all selected. Go to Group, again we're still in Picture Format tab, and go down to Group. Now you can move all these images around as one in your document, which can save a, lot, save a lot of time and hassle. And then you can simply move them to where you want. If you want to make sure they're perfectly in the middle, once they're grouped, go back up to the Align tool, click on the drop down and select Align to Centre. Then click away and you have perfectly inserted images. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.